For the past few weeks, I've had access to cursor background agents on the web, which you can see on the right hand side here. And also on the left hand side, you can see the cursor app on my iPhone. And this is live and I'm going to show you how we can use this app without ever being inside cursor. So the first thing I want to do is quickly go to my emails. I have this error on one of my Laravel apps with an undefined constant. So what I'm going to do is copy this text here and then head back to cursor and create a background agent to investigate and fix it. So I click the cursor app and you'll see that the screen looks exactly the same on phone as it does at cursor.com slash agents. I'm going to switch the repo to playbooks and then I'm going to paste the error message here. And then I'm going to ask it to review and fix the error. So when I kick that off, you'll see that it's now started a new background agent using Opus 4. Now, because this is Laravel, we can't fully test this on my phone. I'd have to wait till I'm back on my computer to do that. So while that's running, I'm also going to set up another background agent in a different repo. So I have mini PRD, which is this app here. It's something I built in Lovable and it very quickly creates little PRDs you can copy and paste to build projects. The problem is that it's using Superbase functions, which I actually deleted the project in Superbase and it no longer works. And I just found this out the other day. So if I click any of these, we'll see failed to send a request to the edge function. So because I'm no longer using Superbase, I want to get cursor background agent to use Vercel functions instead so that we can get this working again properly on my app. And because Vercel creates preview deployments based on pull requests, we can test everything through the phone. Back in the cursor app, I can ask it to switch this over from Superbase to Vercel functions. This app was originally built using Superbase edge functions, but I accidentally deleted my project inside Superbase. It's deployed on Vercel anyway, so what I'd like to do is remove all of the Superbase functions and refactor it and make sure that it works using Vercel edge functions to get this back up and running again. I already have the OpenAI API key in my environment variables, so this should just be a case of fixing the app to use Vercel instead of Superbase. OK, click send and then now a new background agent is being spun up for this mini PRD project. OK, so both background agents are now complete. The first one here for my Laravel app has a summary. We can click here to show the entire summary. So the undefined constant was resolved by updating the command output capture to be compatible with Laravel 12. And it explains exactly how it did that with a diff file here as well. If you want to, you can review the chat as well and all the different tool calls that it made. And then up here, we can click to create a pull request. Now this pull request, I'm going to have to test this locally when I get back onto my machine because my Laravel site isn't set up to have deployment previews. So I'll leave that going in the background while we switch over to the Vercel app. The application was refactored to remove all Superbase dependencies and chat functionality. And it goes through the key changes of removing Superbase, adding Vercel function and removing all these chat features, which I think there's something that Lovable added, but I never used it. And then it's added some documentation as well. So for this one, when we create the pull request, Vercel will actually create a preview deployment URL for us to check as well. So over in my Vercel account, we can see that I've got a preview deployment. I can click on the URL. We have the exact same project. Let's try recipe ingredient calculator. And it looks like it's doing something. So in theory, this should be calling the Vercel edge function instead of Superbase, and it creates the PRD for us. Perfect. So on the web app over here, it's still not working because obviously we haven't deployed this yet, but we know that it's working. So I can switch back to the cursor app. Now that worked first time, so I've only got the one commit. But if you end up having to chat back and forth with this, there might be multiple changes that need to be made and you can just click the squash merge to combine them all to one. So when I squash this merge here, it's going to deploy that back into my main branch and it will appear live. It's quickly gone to merged. So now on my phone, if I go to mini prd.vercel.app, in theory, if I click any of these, it should work on the live site. And it does. That's perfect. It works just as we want. And there you go. I just fixed this app completely 
on my phone without ever having to be inside a cursor using the background agents app. And you can see how powerful this can be for having an idea when you're on the move and very quickly creating multiple pull requests, testing them on your phone and maybe even merging them to, to your live site without ever having to be inside cursor. Obviously for more complex features, you would still want to do a thorough testing locally, but for very quick fixes and spinning up ideas, this is a good way to do it. Back in the cursor app, that background agent has now been removed because we have completed it. It's merged into the main branch in GitHub, so we no longer need to see the background agent. Let's have a look at the Laravel one here. And for this, I am going to use my computer because you can see that on my desktop, I have an open in cursor link. And if I click it, it opens the background agent inside of cursor. We'll reduce that down so you can actually see what it says. And now we can click check out locally on the left hand side over here. Now that we're in the right branch, I can run artisan DB monitor sequences. And we can see that the command now works. There's no undefined constant in this, which means that back on my phone, I can just click squash commit and it will merge that in and get deployed to my live Laravel site. And that command that runs on a cron job will just get deployed and work as it should. If you want to try this out for yourself on the go, all you need to do is go to cursor.com slash agents and make sure you're signed in. You will need to connect a GitHub account, obviously, to access your repositories and you will need usage based pricing. The recommended model is Claude Sonnet or I prefer Claude Opus. Uh, you do actually have the option in this here to select multiple models. So if you did, if I, if I did all three here and then asked the cursor agent to build something, all three of them would run as independent background agents. So this could be useful if you want to, you have an idea that you want to see what each model would do and then compare the best ones and combine them into something else. You can run that as well. But generally, O3 is incredibly slow. Give it a try for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think.